Hi, Greg here. In today's video, I'm going to show you a Lego mock that I made. This is a Lego push mower that I built using only pieces from Lego Creator Set 31005 construction hauler. And if you haven't seen that original set, which I've uploaded a few videos on, essentially it is a tractor trailer truck with a piece of construction equipment on the back. And if you know from any of my previous videos, I don't like to make anything that's too close to the source material. So for example, in this case, I didn't want to make any kind of vehicle. Since I was coming from a vehicle, I wanted to do something completely different. And I thought, after seeing some of those flat tiles that came with this and the curved pieces, this would be perfect for a body of a push mower. And that's exactly what I made. And I want to take some time here to show you what this thing looks like and some of the details on it. I'll start by showing you the body of the push mower. These curved pieces are really what brought the idea to life. And with the size of the tires on this, I thought it's just the perfect scale for this size of push mower. So this side has a curve and then it's kind of flat going around and I did the same thing on the front. And you can see all the tiles on the top which really make it look nice and clean. And then we'll come around this side, and this has the chute on the side. This is where the grass would come out. I was pretty limited with the number of pieces that I could use for that, so I kind of just picked it together and wanted to just kind of create an angle that came out like this, and I think it worked out pretty well for what I had. This side, on the other hand, versus the other side is flat, but that works out okay because of these. I didn't have any more of these curve pieces left, so I had to make do, and it looks okay because that kind of gives it a curve on this side. And then the back of the body, is just a flat piece and this was the front of the tractor trailer truck and these pieces right here that go up into the handle work out really well to connect that on and give it a nice secure fit. Moving up on the push mower, this is the engine that I created. I built this using photos that I found online of actual push mower engines and I tried to make it as accurate as I could using only pieces from the set. I'll take you around this and show you what some of the elements are. The first thing that you'll see right here, this black piece right here and here, that is the gas tank and this is where you'd fill it up so you take that off and you'd fill the gas in through there and this whole part would be the tank. Moving over to this side, this is where you would prime it, this is like the carburetor so you pump that to prime the engine. And then around the front, I put a nice curved slope tile on there to give it the look that you would find on a normal lawnmower engine. And then on this side, the only thing that's over here is the exhaust. And this was used for the side view mirrors on the construction hauler. And I think that looks really good. It worked out really well. I just left it as it was. There's nothing else over here. They're usually pretty plain on this side from what I saw online. And then the top, this is where you look down through and that's what spins in there to get the engine going. And there would usually be a pull string here, which unfortunately I couldn't build using the pieces that I had from the set. Finally, we'll move on to the handle. The handle moves up and down like this, so it works just like a normal push mower would. There is a bar that goes across the middle for stabilization, and there's a bar at the top as well. And then the cool thing about this, which you probably have already noticed, is this has an actual feature where you pull this in, this is what turns the mower on, and then you let it go and it turns it off. Unfortunately, there's no spring or anything included in the set that I, I couldn't keep that pushed out, so you'd have to actually pull it in. You kind of just have to work it manually, but I think that works okay. I had to use a multitude of colors up here to make this all work using what was given to me, and then the back it's all just kind of red, which is probably my least favorite thing. And then another thing that I really don't like about the handle itself is if you zoom out a little bit, you can see how narrow it is in relation to the mower itself. I would have liked this to probably be six wide as opposed to four wide, but in order to use these bars that you see on here, I had to make it the width that I did, so I had to make some sacrifices in order to make it function. Here's a look at the bottom of the push mower if you're curious about that. Uh, the internally, it's just kind of all pieced together to make sure the outside looked good. I wanted to make sure all these tiles were flush and everything looked to scale and I think it turned out pretty well for making my own creation. I really do love these LEGO Creator sets. There's so much opportunity here and I like to show that every time I pick one of these sets up, I like to do the original builds and then make something of my own. And this is a perfect example of that. Something completely random from each one. You just kind of get an idea when you're building it of some available pieces and you, you do what you think works best. Uh, you have to let me know what you think about this LEGO push mower. It's the first one that I've ever built of this scale. And uh, hopefully you'll be back soon to check out some more videos that I have up. So thanks for watching.